Okay, hi everyone. All right, here we go. I am uh, not going to fill this cup on the canvas because I had a little slip up the other day and uh, actually put some silicone directly on the canvas out of my little dropper. But it wound up not mattering, which was a shock. Um, I, I used a paper towel to kind of wipe it up and poured the paint over it and uh, you know it was okay I wanted to be okay so anyway I'm gonna fill this cup I got a 12 by 12 canvas I'm using um, titanium white uh, all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol no water no glue uh, I've got basics phthalo blue artist loft deep magenta artist loft deep yellow basics cadmium red medium hue artist loft light blue and basics dioxazine purple and the treadmill belt lubricant which i'm going to use my infamous layering technique that i love so much <clears throat> so here we go let's make paintings starting with white i'm gonna go with a heavy coat of white I feel like, well, I just cleaned all my bottles and mixed new paint. So it's flowing really fast, which is great. None of my bottles are going to be clogged tonight. Loving this pink right now. Loving this pink right now. Okay. Now, first drops of silicone, two, three, and here we go with yellow. This is, to me, a really deep orange. It's cadmium red, medium hue. It's also, to me, a vermilion, um, which is in between red and orange. And I wanna put white right here. And that's three layers, so here we go. One, two, three. And the light blue. Now I like using the squeeze bottles because it floats. It doesn't sink down. Um, I just think that really helps the paint to not mix or create any kind of mud. And I'm going to put white again over this purple. I feel like doing a little more white than usual. And actually, that's actually three, but I'm going to wait and put it after this blue, this phthalo blue. <clears throat> I've had a bit of a sore throat, so excuse me for clearing my throat. So I went to the uh, Daytona Beach art show and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Uh, it was so enlightening. Uh, the artists there, some of them were, you know, talking to me and really, some of them were kind of like standoffish, you know, but some of them were really cool. 
and I loved it. I feel like I might have talked about this already, but that might have been the video that got deleted. Anyway, if I've talked about it already, I... There was just some really inter inspiring stuff. Really inspiring stuff. I think only two of about 500 uh, of the artists actually were fluid art types. And that was one of the things I was really curious about is are they doing fluid art? And there wasn't a lot. There was there was a little. One woman, uh, she was there, and I asked her if she was the one that did the art, and she said, "Me and my husband do it together." And she, I said, "What do you think about a lot of people getting into this? You know." fluid art and art pouring and things like that. And she says, well, you know, I feel like what I see, they're using way too many different colors. So at that point, I was thinking to myself, is she talking to me? Because <laughs> I use a lot of different colors. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> excuse me my throat uh, I, I really mix up my colors and you know I'm not just one of the paintings that I was complimenting her on was it was white and gold it was really nice you know it certainly did not look like my type of art my paintings I should say uh, but I didn't take it as any kind of, but that was just her comment when I asked her, what do you think about it? And they had some really nice stuff. They really did. Okay. It's hard when you don't have pictures or examples to show you what I saw, but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And I think there's another one coming up in New Smyrna soon uh, that I'm going to try to go to if I can find somebody to go with me. I don't want to go by myself. My husband works. He's a restaurant manage manager and he does not get weekends off. Okay, now because this is gallery wrapped, I'm gonna probably go a little higher on this cup. I'm gonna make sure I have enough. Paint to go over the sides. So we've gotten our first real cold front here in Daytona Beach and probably nothing compared to what you guys are experiencing if you're not in Florida. I know a lot of people are getting snow and I'm very grateful not to be dealing with that. Okay, last drops because I'm getting close to the top. I feel like I might be done. All right, that is good. Moving this aside.
Okay. Now, I'm gonna actually check and make sure that the camera's really filming. Don't, you guys don't laugh at me because this is the, was my tragedy last night. I was sitting here talking to myself apparently and nobody could ever listen to me. <laughs> okay, my, our youngest child, my 14 year old daughter has started to try to date. Yeah, she has recently had her first kiss. I'm not freaking out. Just joking. I'm totally freaking out. Okay, this is my distraction. I'm not gonna talk about that. All right, here we go. Cup underneath. Canvas on top. This is how we do it. A lot of white in this one. Very curious. I think I might have did too much. That's okay. Wait for it to come down. I love a clear cup. If you ever flip it over and think that you don't have enough paint, I recommend that you do a flip and drag, that you poke it and flip and drag. Because for some reason, when you flip and drag, you need a lot less paint. Like, I'm not even kidding you. It just seems to disperse. Uh, so, all right, here we go. I'm gonna move this. This is the fun part. Let it do its thing. Plenty of paint. See purple. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the heat gun. Why not? Gorgeous. I love a smoky colors. Oh my gosh, I see characters, early stages. Don't freak out. Okay. I think I have enough paint where I don't need to. Usually I would take the white. Um, although I am gonna do it over here because the cells will roll over if I don't, especially on a gallery wrap, it's more textured. And I see these pretty cells. I'm gonna try to save. I'm actually gonna go over there first. saving them. Oh, come on. Right 
bring it back. Bring it back. Don't you love that? I call it vermilion orange, but really it's a uh, cadmium red medium hue. So much better than just straight up orange. It's so much brighter and just stands out. Look how big these cells are getting. Okay, so this is where I poured that on. And I'm gonna go ahead and let, these cells are getting huge. I'm not afraid of that falling off. I'd like to keep these, but let this go. cells are getting really massive in the center. Bit of a negative space going on in the middle there. It's still moving a lot in the middle, which concerns me. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a second and think. Look how big these are. Wow. Cool. All right, heat gun time because maybe I can get something to happen here. Now, I like a little negative space, so it's okay if it doesn't. to think for a minute guys I might just leave it alone leave it alone got my edges here I'm gonna play with gallery wrapped edge If any of you watching have any advice on your <laughs> teenage daughter's dating, even if it was years ago, gosh, do I need to read a book or something. But I gotta tell you though, I'm more fine with it than my husband. He is twigging. I hope he doesn't hear me say that on this video. He only watches them if I let him watch them. 
Nice. Oh. This is a little negative space. But there's so much else going on. Can we just talk about that? Because if I were to tilt this way, I'd lose this. And I don't want to lose this corner. This is great. So I'm not going to tilt this thing anymore at all. Now, I don't see any creatures yet, but that's okay. Every once in a while I get lucky, but look at these rainbow cells. Yes. So I used more white layering. I probably put white in, I could go back and count, but at least five times. So in the beginning and in the end, and then three times in the middle. Look at this cell right here. I'm gonna heat gun one more time. Okay, you cannot force them out. Now probably, if I stretched it more, stuff would happen here. But I'm not gonna do that. It may, because there is so much paint on this, I might have overdone it. Um, it may move more while it's drying, and that's a sad fact. Uh, if you do put too much paint while it's drying and you don't tilt enough of it off, then <clears throat> it will move more while it's driving, drying. If you notice that happening when your paint it, painting is drying, that's why. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, so I'm very happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at the other paintings, the one I did last night and the dry ones. Uh, please comment, please uh, share, subscribe if you wanna see more like this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy pouring.